भारत की कहानी आजादी के लिए प्राणाहुति देने वाले पिछहत्तर अनाम वीरों की पिछहत्तर कहानियां मीनाक्षी लेखी की जुबानी दिस लेजेंड कम फ्रॉम उलाल इन कर्नाटका फ्रॉम सदर्न इंडिया ड्यूरिंग द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ द सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी से अबाउट फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी ऑनवर्ड्स रानी अबका छोटा वॉज द फर्स्ट तुलवा क्वीन ऑफ उलाल हु फॉट द पोर्चुगेज इन द लेटर हाफ ऑफ द सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी she enjoyed immense popularity among the people of her bravery and caring nature towards the people in the principality of ulal the then queen haria abaka was on her deathbed and the portuguese were expanding their sway with their evil expansion plans around goa ulal was already under the portuguese rule taken as a vassal kingdom it paid its early tribute to the portuguese rulers This immoral loot hurt the queen immensely who wanted her principality to flourish not perish under the foreign rule. She also feared for the sovereignty of her motherland. The dying queen expressed her worries and concerns about the safety and sovereignty of her principality to her brave daughter Abaka Devi. Abaka solacing her dying mother promised her that she would take care of ulal and keep it free from the evil designs of the foreigners the mother soon died and devi abaka took over as the queen her first act was to gain love and support from her subjects she asked for the support to keep the portuguese at bay and not unwavering support from the masses her husband vira narsimha the king of b and gadi so trouble in queen staunch opposition to the portuguese He tried convincing Abaka to think twice before taking up arms against the Portuguese authorities. He was of the opinion that Ulal and Bangadi, being small principalities, were of no match to the powerful foreign invaders. Before the steely resolve of Abaka, he had to give up. Queen Abaka went ahead with her opinion against the Portuguese. When asked to pay annual tribute, she outrightly refused. She maintained that Ulal was a sovereign principality and would neither pay the so-called tribute in cash or kind or take orders from any other authority. This was an open defiance of the Portuguese in a radically daring move for those times. That too coming from a woman, Abaka got the merchant ships built for her kingdom. and leveraged her cordial and profitable trade relations with the kingdom of arabia but on their return from one of the commercial voyage the ulal fleet was apprehended by the portuguese authorities only one of the workers of the ship with great difficulty managed to reach back to ulal he appraised her queen of the act of the portuguese loot and exploitation and that the commander of the ship was under the portuguese As the royal rule demands, she sent an envoy to the Portuguese to get back her ships and the commander. However, much to her fury, the Portuguese replied by attacking Ulal. Rani Abaka stood and saw the cannons booming from across the river. The enemy had left no choice for the queen. She gathered her horses and the forces and decided to attack Portuguese fort in Mangala. It was indeed a very daring move to pick up arms against supposedly much bigger army and enemy. Portuguese were sure of their win and the governor at Mangalo Ribeiro had to run for his life as queen took over the Mangalo fort. The governor at Goa reacted sharply and the Portuguese rallied at Ulal to avenge their defeat at the Mangalo fort. But Queen Abaka with a sword held high and will to free ulal even higher was ready for the men to fight the enemy till her last breath queen abaka showed legendary courage as she led her forces against the portuguese the battle lasted four days at the end of which portuguese were down at their knees the portuguese were driven out of ulal never to come back again queen abaka kept the promise given to her dying mother and her commitment to her people that her life was to protect ulal it is believed that portuguese had made several attempts to capture ulal as it was strategically placed 
only to be repulsed by Abaka each time for over four decades. For her bravery, Abaka Devi came to be known as Abhaya Rani, the fearless queen. She is also believed to be one of the earliest Indians to fight colonialism and is sometimes considered to be the first woman freedom fighter of India at the state of Karnataka. She is celebrated along with as one of the foremost women warriors and patriots. According to traditional accounts, she was an immensely popular king and this is also attested by the fact that she is even today part of folklore. The Queen's story has been retold from generation to generation through folk songs and Yakshagana, a popular theatre in coastal Karnataka. She was seen as a caring queen who worked late into the night dispensing justice to her people. Legends also claim that Abaka was the last known person to have used the Agnivana, the fire arrow, in her fight against the Portuguese. Some accounts also claim that she had two equally valiant daughters who fought alongside her in her wars against the Portuguese. Abaka's memory is much cherished in her hometown of Ulal. The Veera Rani Abaka Utsav is an annual celebration held in her memory. The Veera Rani Abaka Prashasti Award is given to distinguished women on that occasion. On 15th of January 2003, the Indian Postal Department issued a special cover on Rani Abaka. All hail Rani Abaka, Jai Rani Abaka. 74 days to go, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Bharat ki kahani. आजादी के लिए प्राणाहुति देने वाले 75 अनाम वीरों की 75 कहानियां मीनाक्षी लेखी की जुबानी आप सुनेंगे अमृत महोत्सव पोर्टल पर 1 जून 2022 से रोजाना